welcome to everybody. And I'd like to explain which is the our experience. It's a long time experience because uh, we started in 1770 to approach the wastewater treatment. Uh, our mainly work is, like you said, in uh, tannery, tannery fields. And uh, this is really 70, 80% of our kind of customers. But uh, many times, mainly uh, outside Italy, we work at, in uh, food uh, factories. Uh, for uh, production of wine, production of uh, different kind of tomato also. So uh, always we uh, apply the biological technology and with that technology we try to uh, improve the capacity of the plant and to reduce what is necessary in uh, energy consumption, utilizing the right equipment and uh, the best uh, uh, the best way to uh, utilize the oxygen because the oxygen is the the first, the mainly product necessary for the applying of this technology. So we focalize our work in uh, which are the the way to produce the oxygen with the less quantity of energy. I try to explain what is uh, the, the technology, but I think we are all technician in this, um, uh, in this meeting. So probably I'm saying something uh, clear for everybody. So <laughs> I don't know until where it is necessary to, to focalize more the, the the kind of technology applied is always the the utilization of bacteria to transform the pollutant in a sludge and sure for uh, the explanation uh, exposition made by the other uh, participant of the meeting it is also uh, possible to uh, approach the treatment of the uh, following product coming from the biological treatment, so the sludge, to produce the energy and to produce something useful for uh, reduce and produce energy and reduce the consumption during the, the wastewater treatment plant. Our experience is everywhere in the world. We are uh, present in Africa in many countries always applying the same kind of uh, treatment, so the biological treatment, and applying one of the uh, more important way to treat. Because uh, when we started in the, the year 70, uh, the way to treat the water was uh, through the chemical uh, process. And the chemical process is useful, some kind of uh, of kind of factories. It is uh, necessary to utilize, but many times it is one way to produce so many sludge and uh, to uh, postpone the problem, because uh, with uh, the chemical treatment we reduce. Uh, only what is in uh, suspension of the water, utilizing chemicals. And with that, we produce uh, uh, normally double kind, double uh, quantity of sludge of what it is uh, uh, possible to produce uh, if we apply directly the biological treatment. So after 15, 20 years of this experience, we changed it and we made the new uh, plant normally, directly with the biological treatment. This is uh, the experience of the last uh, 20 years. And in the, the last 20 years, uh, our work has been always 
to, uh, to try to reduce the quantity of uh, energy utilized for the treatment with new machinery, with new uh, equipment. I think uh, we, you can see the, the presence of uh, uh, Del Tarque in uh, every country. We are present uh, mainly in South America. Unfortunately, we are very present in Russia, but uh, actually we are not working there and in Europe, in many countries. So I, I finish my presentation. So thanks. I'm ready for uh, the following, the following uh, question. In the, in the field of tomato, I can see what, what we are presenting in our presentation. The problem is uh, to clean many quantity of water is it is utilized for the, the cleaning of tomato before to do the the preparation of juice or other kind of product final products so uh, the the problem is to clean the water after the wastewater treatment plant and uh, to utilize mass possible the, the the cleaned water in the first step of the cleaning of the tomato. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm very sorry for that. <laughs> Maybe I forget something, but uh, <laughs> I hope to, to be present in uh, the final uh, discussion and uh, to answer to any any question you can uh, you can propose. Thank you. Yes.